All right, welcome back, YouTubers. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. I knew you guys would not let me get by that easy without using some Visual Basic. Um, the last lesson, we made a simple VLOOKUP table starting with a pay period start date a gazillion years ago and incrementing every 14 days in a large, large VLOOKUP table. So that if I typed in any random date, let's go uh, 3, 2... 1998 it would give me the pay period start date because of VLOOKUP and a pay period end date but however we could make that dynamic we could make it super easy for our other people we could even hide this worksheet and we'll do that in a second we've got to experiment a little bit we're going to create a custom function a UDF if you will a user defined function that will allow the user to type in equals something rather you know whatever we name it and then and then they can type in their date somewhere else and they can refer to the dates and use our simple function that makes it easy for them so they don't even have to learn about VLOOKUP, God forbid though. Everybody needs to learn VLOOKUP, but you know, just saying. Let's give that a whirl. Let's go ahead and get started by clicking Alt F11 to get in the Visual Basics menu. Let's go to functions number two and we'll plop a new function in there. Let's say Start it off with function, space, and let's give this a name. This is the name that they're going to type after the equals sign. So uh, the shorter and sweeter, the better. You know what I'm saying? So equals, let's see, the function is called, how about we'll do one called pay period start. Like P, P, uh, P, P, S. That's fine, pay period start, and we'll call the other one P, P, E. Uh, so, what is the criteria? What do they need to type in or like equals PPS and then click on another cell for the criteria or type in a date? How about uh, select a date? You don't want to put D-A-T-E in here because Excel thinks you're trying to say today's date. D-A-T-E by itself is a... Is a built-in thing, so you don't want to use that, but you can weave around it. I'll put selected date, S-E-L-D-A-T-E, -E, um, as date, maybe. Make it easier on ourselves. So, let's get started with that. Um, we want to do the same thing that we did there. You take whatever the date is, so... Um, but let's do a variable here. Let's say... Well, heck, this is really easy. PPS, that's the ending right now. We're going to define it immediately in like one line. It is application.worksheetfunction.vlookup. Um, what is our argument number one? Let's just cheat. Let's uh, click here and we'll just look off of it. Uh, let's see. The first thing, instead of clicking D3, obviously the user is going to have that already taken care of with the cell date. Oopsies. So I'm double clicking Control C to copy and paste. So the first thing is the criteria, that's the date. Then we have to put our table and we can cheat and put these little square brackets here and type in the table name. The table name was uh, PPD table. And then we'll put a comma. We'll say uh, there's only one column and one because we don't want it to be an exact match which is zero or the word true I mean or the word false. We want it to be one or true. I know it's kind of confusing but the one means an approximate match. Let's see how that works. I'm going to type it in right now. I'm just randomly on a worksheet here equals PPS. That's our, our user defined function. Pay period start. And let's say, oh no, it was PPS. It looked like it was a, it was a regular function. Uh oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's change the name. How about PP uh, start? There, PP start, and then PP start equals all that jive there. I guess PPS is uh, something else. So uh, let's try that again. PP start. Uh oh. PP start. There it is. Came up. Uh, oh, no, no. I guess we just did it wrong. What did we do wrong? Let's debug. That's a great idea, Dan. Thank you. All right. Just double checking. That was called P. 
PPD table. Yes, it sure was. All right, well, what did we do wrong? Let's click uh, this again. And when I hit enter, it's going to uh, come right here. So let's see. If you look up 3 to 1998 in the pay period table, one one. Okay, sometimes VLOOKUPs don't like uh, your cheating ways of putting these brackets. It could be that. Let's. I'm gonna hit F8 just to see what happens there. Okay, no, no, they're they're not liking that. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Let's try it this way. Let's put range. Oh my gosh, I didn't didn't mean to hit the enter key. Put range. In quote in parentheses may not work. We may have to get more specific of the page that the range is in. Let's hit F8 and let's see what happened there. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> okay, well let's try uh, this workbook dot sheets and what in the world was the sheet name that we we're on? Uh, pay period, okay, fine. Pay period dot range pay period table, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if that worked. Well, that's disconcerting, isn't it? What in the world? <laughs> I don't know, maybe we don't want it to be a date. Okay, well, let's just take it uh, away from being a date. We'll just make it a variant or something. Whatever, I don't know. Uh -huh. It's always something in it. Let's see. Well, holy crap, there you go. It. It doesn't like that. See, now you know why I do not declare my stinking variables. Because they get angry at you at the slightest drop of a hat. So I just make that a variant, or you could even just, just leave it a regular old variable with no specific type. Um, Alright, all that because I decided to venture out and put it at, declare it as a date. Anyways, so you can see why declaring variables can sometimes be a pain in the rump. Because it wanted to keep it a serial number. It didn't want it calculated by, you know, uh, the date format or something. But anyway, so now our employees or our friends or whatever or ourselves can say equals PPD uh, or PP start. And just click on a date and shazam, there's pay period start date. Of course, uh, control shift three will get you the date format or control one and change it to date. Anyway, and then uh, let's make one more. We'll do the pay period end equals PP end. Let's try that. So I'm gonna copy that lovely little line of code. In fact, I'll copy the whole thing. Uh, function PP end, let's do that one. And then you gotta change this part to end. Okay, what are we doing? We are finding Mm, let's just do that'll be pp start and then pp end will be equal to pp start plus 13 meaning you know 13 days after that saturday we will be the friday that's the pay end of the pay period holy cow let's try this i'm so excited so remember pp end whatever you want to end up with to end up in the cell had better match your function name to be equal. So anyway, enough talking. Let's try this. Equals PP end of uh, that one. What's the pay period end for that date? Hmm? What do you mean arguments not optional? PP start. Oh, pfft. okay. That was dumb. All right. Uh, made another stupid error. Um, don't use the name of another function as one of your variables. They don't like that. So let's do st date start date equals you know that you can put anything you want but uh, as long as it's not the same as another one they they're gonna get cranky about that anyway let's try this up oh, oh my goodness okay st date plus thirteen oh my 
so many so many mistakes but uh, nobody's perfect huh? so control one change it to date format oh that looks beautiful so now we have PP start of D3 here and a PP end of D3 so that is pretty rad so PP start oops equals PP start of that date and equals PP end of that date we could change it to anything we want within the range of our within the scope of our table how about 215 2004 and there's the start date and there's the end date uh, and sure enough it agrees with this uh, so thanks for watching and that's how to do our function of uh, the VLOOKUP that we did earlier but just to make it ridiculously simple if you want to teach people hey man I just made this new function and um, we can talk about creating uh, some kind of add-in later to, to make that easier for them but thanks for watching